a, uh, what I call it is all feelings, no facts. Okay? This is a player comparison. Who would you rather have in the next five years? Okay? okay? I think I know, I'm going to start easy and then we'll go harder. Who I would rather have? Who would you rather have? You can say you can say now, you can say in the next five years, next whatever. Five years. Go ahead. I'm okay? Jokic or Embiid? Embiid. Okay. And I'll kind of go go off to that, go off of that, and I agree. I would take Embiid. And we kind of like go into like why why would you take Embiid over Jokic next five years? I well yeah, I think um, Embiid at the top is just unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Basketball will always be a game of I'm just taller than you. No matter how high you want to jump, I'm just going to jump that much higher than you. Mm. So if you look at the likes of KD and I was able to score, there's a reason you, you're you not blocking a KD jump shot. Who the last time KD got a jump shot block? Not that the folks aren't contesting. They're right. stretching. They're doing it. You can just go so high. It's just, he's just taller than you. And that's, he designed his jump shot. Who's stopping Embiid? Ask yourself. I mean, he's like, now, who's stopping you? Jokic, he, he, you can physically stop him. He's not, he's not slow. I feel like yeah. Not yeah. knocking him, of course. He's still a seven footer, two sixty, two seventy, mm -hmm. fellas. But you, you stop Jokic by not press, not being physical. You actually are looking to stop his passes, get reflections, steals. So, and if they were to go one on one, and we would just absolutely. Crush him. So I have a different perspective Talk to on Embiid. Why I like Embiid over Okay, him. Okay, yeah, nice. And it has a lot to do with his. So I like Kobe. I like how he can do fadeaways, and those are unstoppable. And and like you're saying, you can't you, even even if you even try to block, like you couldn't even even reach it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like Embiid has this package of where it's kind of like Kobe is, as, as far as no, like, it is. No, no, don't say Kobe. Kind of, it is. It, it's footwork, but I feel like I seen, well, I, seen, I seen a quote that said that he could be Shaq one day, yes, he could be Kobe, and he could be Hakeem in the same time. And that's that's the quote. And, and I was like, well, well, I, I can see it. You know what I'm saying? Look how big he is, and as he just touches fade away. Let's compare this to uh, Jokic. Let's compare this to Jokic. I don't want to. I don't want well, I, I don't think him as, as a scorer first. I think of him as a Magic Johnson. I agree. He's doing his Magic. Look at him. <laughs> he, Are you he, he doesn't a he doesn't even awesome. try to look to score, but he can he can score anywhere. He's a matchup but, nightmare. But teams have done what? They're up to speed on it. Now folks know, yo, he would rather pass the ball yeah. and shoot a three like LeBron did. Yeah, he doesn't have that, you that know, footwork. Joker is playing like LeBron in his 19th year in the league. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I mean, he's gonna, Joker, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's, 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 not, he's gonna proceed, but he's gonna, his game is gonna last a long time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's so how LeBron is gonna last a long it's time. Gonna, it's he's gonna last a long time. We're gonna see him, Jokic, have these very numbers for years and years serious. and years just because he's just very serious. You're watching clips from the Ballers and Kicks podcast. Check out more clips from the show and like, share, and subscribe with the links below. And we out. Bow.